Hey everybody, it's time for a brand new Dark Parables beta. This one is called, uh, I think it's the Dark Swan and the Dire Tree, I believe that's the name. Still Leapix, much to... Although I will say they've gone a lot better than they have in the past. Vast improvements over the first Epix Parable game. Uh, do they match the old games? I, I'd say no still. It's going to take a lot more, but they're definitely getting close. Yeah, they just did a few more tweaks to the sounds, bring all the classic sounds back. Then I think we'd be good. Dark Parables, Swan Princess, and the Dire Tree. Yeah, as you can see, the graphics were kind of a little bit hard to see, but, I mean, they'll probably clear it up in the full version. The beta! Uh, I always have to give the benefit of the doubt that the graphics will get better. Alright, let's just make a new profile. Name! Detective. I mean, just... Just cause. Why not? Very quiet. And then the music kicks in, I'll like, ooh, yeah, let's just set the difficulty. Uh, I know people always complain about how the dark par the new Dark Parables don't have the uh, ability to have cursed objects to do the hint system. Uh, my solution to that was just set it to the maximum hint time, and then as we collect collectibles, like every 10 or so, Decrease it by increments of 10 seconds. So by the time you get close to the end of the game, hit times goes from 2 minutes to 10 seconds. So that works for me. Also nice because it means I can use Dark Parables as kind of a challenge game because I usually like my hint times to be 30 seconds. Alright, let's play. Dire Island to investigate a mysterious series of cracks appearing throughout the land. The phenomenon is related to the disappearance of the magic seed, which holds the key to reviving the goddess Flora, who keeps nature in balance. The prime suspect for the theft is a high-ranking member of the Swan Guard. Be careful, detective. They all swore to put the safety of Dire Island and its people above their own lives. I see an earthquake. Oh, you're just like, oh, he fell. I better throw you off, too. How totally, like, whatever. Help me, please. I'm barely hanging on. Oh, we'll help you. Well, it, okay, you can just fall like that. Be more dramatic. Help. I can't hold on much longer. Just hold on. <laughs> I love our detective personality. I need something to help me reach him. Maybe I can use my horse to pull him out. Yeah, we can use the horse reins. You may notice one thing that went back to the classic Dark Parables already. 
the little speech bubble right above the guy. It's in the Got same it. style. Pull me up. Thank you. I'm Desmond McBride, Master Tailor of the Highest Order. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have been able to answer the princess's summons. She knows I'm the perfect person to fix those strange cracks, and I certainly saw firsthand how dire the situation is getting. But actions speak louder than words. Let me patch up this crevice. Ready to see a master at work? I suppose so, as long as you do it in the cutscene. And he does. That was nice. See? A masterpiece in the blink of an eye. With my help, the princess will restore her kingdom in no time. There's just one problem. What? I got this letter from the princess, but I can't tell from it how to get to the dire tree. Maybe you'll see something I don't. And then we can be traveling companions. Just what I wanted, another guy to do traveling companion, be a traveling companion. I'm glad I could help him though. What kind of letter is this? Those runes. Perhaps it was magically encrypted. Master Taylor, your fame spreads far beyond the borders of Dire Island. I request an, an immediate audience. Only you can save my kingdom. This will show the way. Swan Princess. Swan Princess has got it a bit wrong. Her tailor didn't, can't even get to the dire tree on his own. It's actually kind of disappointment. When I first saw that scene, I was expecting voice acting, but you know, maybe final version, we'll see. Absence of one orb was enough for the whole system to fail. How about that? Well, Swan Kingdom welcomes you. Swear your allegiance to the gods so turn back now. Yeah, loyalty seems to be the main emotion of the Dire Island. And the Baron and Eagle symbol are missing. That's a friendlier welcome than the last game, Goldilocks and the Fallen Star. Legends say that some members of the Swan Guard can transform into swans. The Swan Guard is wanting to protect the goddess. She keeps balance throughout the kingdom. What well, is this, Emerald City Confidential? <laughs> Reminds me of that game. Ooh, a Swan Guard banner. Maybe I can find more information about my mission here. And hidden objects. Alrighty. Of course, this is Dark Parables, which means we get fragmented hidden objects. <sighs> they usually move faster than regular hidden objects for me. I was having, I was being hesitant saying that because I was having a bit of trouble locating a few objects. And I found three right there. And then it slowed back down to like none. There's one. It also means that all hidden object screens will be the same in this game. I personally don't mind. I prefer fragment hidden object screens over some of the other hidden object screens that Epix games have done. Who, who, who? What is this, Mr. The World? <laughs> It reminds me of, of Fiends and Fairies, that owl that was on the loading screen. Kind of creepy. Ah, oh, I didn't hear us on my first playthrough. But again, I didn't... I wasn't using the speakers, I was using my headphones. And, you know. There was other noise going because I was waiting for class to start. Alright, we're missing two things. A circly circle and an L. Or lever looking thing. I guess you could say it's either an L or a lever. There's lots of circly circle things, but not the right circly circle thing. There's a circly circle thing. It's a lever. A lever L ish thing. I'm a jig. Alrighty, where is it? I found it last time. Yeah, I played this game. My second playthrough is beta from an hour. Which
to believe it. <laughs> I'm just gonna hint it. Oh, I would have seen that in a thousand ages, but I did somehow the first time around, so I shouldn't be like that. And yeah, the wind sound is missing. Hopefully they'll bring it back in the final version. I made a comment about that when I filled out the survey, so... Oh, excuse me. Gee whiz. So maybe we'll do that. I need to get rid of them vines. Oh, more again. Alright, what have we here? It's a coin. And it looks like an eye-shaped object is missing. Well, good thing we have that eye-shaped object. There. It looks like a scouting device. These runes. I've seen them before. Princess, use them to encrypt her letter. And that's the solution. Just gotta connect the things. And I'll need a lens to find a path to the dire tree. Reminds me a lot of dire girls. Like, what is this supposed to be? It's supposed to be a cheerful game, not a direness. I'm just missing a piece. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have been able to answer the princess's summons. Yeah, thank you, us. Whoops. We can put this in while we're here, I suppose. Alrighty then. Alrighty, where are we going? That's just gonna talk to you and be like. Oh, thank you, thank you, detective, thank you. There we go, clear it up. Nothing to do there. The old fountain stands dry, as if it's waiting for the rain. Well, let's make it rain. Ah, oh, and there's the eagle room for back here. Alrighty. Oh, we got an unpolished lens, so I guess we gotta go find a polish. <laughs> I don't know why I decided it'd be a good idea to zoom in here. We can't do that yet. There it is. Place the sun in place and we'll get a lantern. And the rock for polishing stuff. For some reason, the music style in this particular game reminds me a lot of Nancy Drew, the creature of Kapu Cave. Alright, what have we here? Whoa, I uh, forgot. It's, it's a movie puzzle. And I already started moving. Alright, so this little path thing right here will show you what symbols you want to find. Those symbols uh, relate to landmarks, so just go find the landmarks. There's a water tower, but that's too. Way. So we already found that, those three arches. Next thing is this tower right here. Number three is over here. It's that water tower. Four is a fortress. It's actually a little hidden. It's not that one. Not that apparently. It's that one. We have this little village. We got a dead plant that's apparently gonna help. Rocks. And then the tree. And that will show us the route. The orb can show us the way. I should find the tailor so we can keep moving. I find him, he's right here. Cool. Excellent work. There's not a moment to spare. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Finally, the dire tree. It's even more impressive up close. Thank you for answering my summons, Master Taylor. Your help with the cracks will be invaluable. I suggest you get to work immediately. Fear not, my lady. It is my honor to assist you in your time of need. Off I go. And for you, Detective, I have a task of the utmost delicacy. The future of my kingdom depends on it. The Black Swan, who was once the most trusted member of my Swan Guard, has stolen the Magic Seed. Without it, the goddess Flora cannot regenerate. 
My scouts have informed me that she's hiding somewhere in the swamp. Only someone with your wits and skills can track her down. I'll be in the throne room, awaiting your return, with this seed and the traitor. This talisman will help you when you face her. The guard each carry a magical amulet closely tied to their existence. This one was the Black Swans. Swan Princess seems rather worried. Restoration ceremony is in real danger. I would be honored. Can't do this. Maybe I can pry this open. Alright, so. Let's begin. Explore some areas over here. Well, now we can do the thing back there. Let's see. Two swans seem a constant motive throughout the island. It looks like only seen one. And we admire the craftsmanship. Swan guards sworn to protect the god's floor at all times and all costs. So, like, a thousand dollars will pay it. Thousand lives, do that too. It's some sort of an ancient road sign. I must be standing at the crossroad. And it's like a frog figure is missing from the post. Swan Princess sure made a tasty exit. She did say she waited. We got there, we got that, and we got the frog. And. There shouldn't be any standouts among the swan guard, eh? And knocking on <laughs> knocking on the door of this size would require an extra kick. Well, we're not going to kick. We want to stub our toes too hard. Put the frog on. We can pass. Oh, there we go. I also get confused with that hole up there. Whoa, what? What was that monstrous thing? The dark insides of that tree look like the perfect habitat for a predator. Some serpent symbols are missing, eh? Okay, well, we can't get that now. Let's see. It looks like some sort of ancient symbol belongs here. Like, like the sun, maybe. Yeesh, that is really creepy. Looks like something dangerous is lurking in the mist. I don't think we'll, well, we'll find out probably in the main game what that is. Every time I see her, these cracks start to appear. I need to find her to ask some questions. Why not just apprehend her and then ask questions? Not just walk up to her and say, hey, we got questions. Questions, questions, questions. Looks like a leaf belongs here. See, and that's the same thing. Ah, uh, well, we can't get anywhere across there, so I guess it's just retreat. I love the music in this game. It's so pretty. A vast improvement over some of the other epic songs I've heard lately. Let's see, some of the parts are obviously some parts. Are awesome. Yeah. And we gotta go here. Oh, this again? Yeah, need that. Aha, we can do this now. Whoops. Put these leaves in. And, oh, there's swans actually, so. To all the kingdom's guards, princesses orders, find and apprehend the black swan. The traitor must be brought to justice for stealing the seed of life. Necessary for restoring the balance. And now it's story time. Alright, this is a quick story time actually. Just assemble the scene. Alrighty, so we got some kings and a prince on the throne and just random dudes standing around. They're actually the musicians, so. And then all the girls are going around and like, oh, the princess, the princess doesn't want me. Yeah, well. Except for the one girl who does. He does want me and proposes. What can I do with this? <laughs> Yay, pull mad head games, why don't you? And then it's the wedding. Throw the leaves aside. Make rocks appear out of nothing. Go over there. Give them the crowns. Because they're going to be now king and queen. 
Then Evil Dude comes, shakes his staff, and oh no, you're a swan. So Prince Guy goes chopping through the leaves. Of course, the leaves means dead branches of trees. Go see the wizard dude, apprehends him, and takes the necklace back. So everyone decided to stay at the wedding, and then they just give the necklace to the princess who's turned into a swan, becomes normal again, and we live happily ever after. Puzzle over. And we get a leaf thing. I bet y'all know what that's for. Would we'll use the map if I know we were gonna have to wait here a while. There we go. Your reason is I'm pr probably because I'm uploading a video in the background. Shouldn't be that bad though. Right. During my search, I found a place protected with magical doors. I saw enormous cobwebs that weren't there before. It seems like something big is moving out there. If someone used magic to protect the entrance, then that's the first place I should look. Of course, first we gotta get the tree over. And this puny stuff. We gotta try on the actual things. Yep, heh <laughs> just wanna prove that. Oh, some evil spider! The rumors about this swamp are true. It's a dangerous place. I suppose we're even. Tread lightly now, detective. Those cracks are everywhere. That spider was huge. And what have we here? It's one of the swan guard. He fell victim to that awful spider. Yeesh. Kind of horrifying. I'm glad there's... Actually, I shouldn't say that, because there actually is a enormous spider in, like, South America somewhere. I don't recall how big, because I turned the radio off, so I wouldn't know. Uh, they always say, you already know too much, so you don't need to know more. Anyway, Swamp Duty Requisition Form. Potion of Never Sleep. No napping in the swamp, it's too dangerous, says this guy right now. Hourglass, there's no night, there's no night and day there, the forest is too thick, and the spider's sickle. For all the cobwebs you might run into. I've only seen sickle shards, the poor soul must have tried to, to must have, must have tried to defend himself. Okay, I was trying to figure out what it said for some reason, I don't know why, because it was like up there. Anyway, back to the game. Eerie the music. I, I don't know if you've watched my games before. I like to be quiet sometimes, let the music play. I'm not really sure if it's much effect now because the volume in my house right now is kind of low. In fact, the cuckoo clock that you heard, if you can even hear it, my microphone isn't that sensitive. Uh, it was probably loud in the game. Who was here? Shoe spider, I don't want you anymore. Whoops, saw that already. Now we just need that thing, eh? There we go. Alright, well we got the sickle. Let me see. No, we need to have, we need a ring for that. Alright. Oh, there's still something to do here. I was gonna do... I was gonna head over and do other stuff, but we I don't I guess we can place this now. Yeah, cause we'll need that actually right where I was headed. Kind of. Crossroads, eh? This one, we only have one right now, so yeah. There's still something to do. Not the book. Okay, that's the book. Get it. Thank you. That is just gonna tell us stuff. Alright, so apparently... No, we don't have other limbs, so I wonder what it's trying to tell me to do. It's just missing the knocker. I'm going to assume it's nothing. Well, anyway, let's see if I get through this first. Alright, there's my way across. Hey! There's something hidden under the tree. And it's locked. I need the right key. 
how it's supposed to work here. Uh, if we move the beam aside or something, it can block the water. Let's block that water. A door. It's where I've seen the black swan enter. And some kind of magic is magic protection is playing through some of my mind. I forgot what that was. There was something here that we're supposed to do. And I was not able to locate it. I had to use a hint. I'm gonna have to do that again. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, because it's just the key shard. And we got the knocker. Alright, let's go knock on someone's door! The phenomenon is related to the disappearance of the magic seed, which holds the key to reviving the goddess Flora, who keeps nature in balance. Thank you for telling us that. Most appreciated detective assistant lady person. So, the fun part. You're at the bottom, I know that one. Here we go, this looks right. Perfect. Peace be upon you, friend of the kingdom. I grant you entrance. I stand in awe. There's an entire world inside the dire tree. For your information, there's actually a zoom-in scene, too. <laughs> the totem is missing a piece. So, just memo to yourself. Check that out. It's an entire city inside the tree. Because, yeah, that, that thing right there is something that you are bound to miss. I need something to make it blossom. Oh, she got thingy right there. These runes are like, don't do anything yet. It'll probably be for later in the game. Let's see. There's thick fog over the lake. I'll need some light. I'm about to say, I better not be doing the cutscene over. It's not time for that. <coughs> I'll need to replace the raft pool to make this move. When I make a move. Alright, this helmet is for something right back at the gate. Another thing you may- actually, we were already here, so I'm not gonna say that. And it's the rest of the knocker- not the knocker, the, uh, pool thing that'll help us get across the lake. So let's do that. Swan Palace at the very heart of the Dire Tree. Alright, this is just three statues I need to go there. And this is... Three stones are keeping the prying eyes away from the case interior. And in illustration of ritual, God's floor only shows herself when the seed is ready. That's that. We'll back up one. Because we need to investigate this place down here that I missed. We're just gonna pull a statue. If we come here first, we would actually have the lake calmly separates the Swan Palace from the If we come here first, we could put the statue in place, which we'll do anyway, to be honest. Like day and night, two swans embrace in black and white. It says there's nothing to do here, but that's a great big lie. We can put this in place. Alright. 
We got another ring, so you can just throw us on. Actually, we have both rings, so we can just finish. Take the rock. We'll get more rings later, we'll place them on. Well, not later, as in later here in the beta. Later in the game. I gotta miss something. What did I miss? I'm trying to remember if there's like another scene here. That's that. Aha, that's what I missed. Alright, it's just a totem piece. It's like go one piece forward. I was expecting to run more. But not nah, because the totem's right here. A lovely thing to have a snake totem. A weasel seems to be missing. Oh, okay. I don't want to deal with weasels, really. But it's not a real weasel, it's just a fake one. Whoops! You go up here. Oh, lady enthroned on high. Here's a third, one of the three jewels for this case over here. And let's see. Relic of Fallen Ones, true symbols of service above life. Even in death, the swan guard remain loyal. Alrighty. Let's just go over here. We got this little thing in here. Goes in the lantern. No, it's not a lantern, it's a bell thing. It also activates the long-awaited next puzzle. <coughs> it's a uh, little thing where you have to connect the lights. You can do up to two fuses between them. What you want to do is you want to get everything happy. Everyone, you want to make everyone happy by giving it the right amount of lights. Not too hard. It's the best out of three puzzles, so might be a bit of a disappointment there. But it's really nothing. Yeah. Example: This one you can get out of the way. Or there's actually two on the screen you can get out of the out of the way post haste because they need everything. So you can just throw those on, then that will give you the balance. This puzzle you can actually, well, if you know what you're doing, like I do, you can solve relatively quickly. In fact, we're done. Not happy. You're not happy, eh? Well, get happy. There we go. We got that stone of illusions. I'll bet you know where that goes. Ground is trembling. The island is running out of time. Well, let's get inside here. And it's some kind of a hidden sanctuary. Oh, it's guard armor. But why would a turncoat still keep it? I don't know. I guess we'll never know, detective. We'll never know. Let's just solve this mini hidden object screen. Get that red thing and we're done. There's no win, which is a shame. I really hope they bring back the win in the full game. Part of the guard's insignia is missing, eh? Well, and there's what we're looking for. Just what I was looking for. Now to get it out. Dear, ah, looks like some coins are missing. Well, we've got both, fortunately. We can do this now. And it's a long diary. Well, we can read it. My dreams were accompanied by a vision last night. A champion with a flaming sword is entering the dire tree. Oh, excuse me. The picture of pride and sorrow combined. One fact is planted in my mind. The magic seed is the key to everything. It must never reach the gods if we are to stop the dark days coming. Last image before the dream shatters. A young man hit the shores of the Dire Island to patch up the strange cracks. He has a companion, a mysterious figure whose destiny is yet to be determined. Something else affected the Black Swan to believe she's doing the right thing. Without the seeds, cracks will consume the island. Well, you know, we can just move elsewhere and not have to deal with the cracks. 
can't do any of those, I don't believe. And that's right, because we can open this right here, and that- No, not you. Get the gear. Gear goes here. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to pause real quickly. Pardon the interruption, but now you get to see the pause screen. It's not near as cool as Goldilocks and the Fallen Star. Anyway, let's get back into it. Puzzle time. Alright, for this puzzle, the objective is to get all of the balls into their respective places by moving these. The twist is, they all go at once, so you have to plan ahead. I'm just doing that to demonstrate. So you also go one at a time, they just all send down and you better be prepared or you're gonna have to do it again. Now let's see if I remember the solution. We start with blue, blue goes that way, and then we want to go down. And we want to go that way. Then we'll flip to purple. So we want purple to go down. We want purple to go that way. Red comes this way, he'll be flipped to that. We want red to do that. And I believe that's the solution. Well, if I'd done the solution first thing, we will have made under a minute. But there's no achievements yet. The blaze almost blinded me. No, oh dear. Hey! Only members of the Swan Guard are allowed to touch the sea. Who are you? And how did you find this place? Did someone send you? I... I remember you. From my dreams. You need to let go of that seed. She's distracted. Now's my chance to overpower her. Before I overpower her, I'd like to say... She reminds me of someone, her hairdo. I don't know who, like someone on TV or in another game. Whoa. The talisman was so much stronger than I expected. I didn't mean for her to fall over the edge. Get over here, you seed. The seed doesn't seem to be afraid of me. I better take it to the princess. Alrighty, time to fly into the royal palace. Alright. Let's put this last figurine on. And, oh, hey! It did something to that mosaic on the opposite wall. Yeah, it did. It's hidden objects. And, you know, if you look carefully, you can see that all the hidden objects are really painfully obvious. They are... Yeah, I'm having trouble. <laughs> they are overlaid over the actual mosaic. It's really, really pleasant surprise also kind of cheap. They'll probably fix that if we ever point it out, so don't point it out, please. Alright, one more to go. Where is it? There it is. We're done. Super fast hidden objects. Unfortunately, no wind sound effect. This is sad. I wanted to win. I want to win. I want to know I won. Return of the magic siege and end the island's agony. Oh, you got it back! Now we can finally start the ceremony. Here you go. So pretty, all the flowers. That must be the goddess. I have one final gift for you. Death! The price for this will be high. <laughs> I'm evil! Plot twist!
duty gives purpose to life. It is a burden one wears proudly. But what happens when duty begins to crush the spirit? What choice do we have then? What did the mystery case files seem? Dark Parables, Swamp Fruits and the Dire Tree. Coming soon. Alright, that's the newest Dark Parables game. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. They've definitely come a long way since Little Mermaid and the Purple Tide. They've worked hard to get it back to the classic Dark Parables feel. They're still not there yet. It still feels very epic-y. I like the story, though. I still say I've seen that lady from somewhere. I think she's Alana from... I don't even remember what it's called. Dark Romance of Swan Sonata? That sounds right. But yeah, I really enjoyed the music. It was really pretty. A vast improvement over some of the recent Epix games. They've had lame music. They're finally coming out of the lame music period. They, that was a lot of 2015 for me. They didn't even have, like, catching s soundtracks. But they're getting back to it. The art style is great. It fits the Dark Parables style. I like that they brought back the classic dialogue box. Uh, there were no chapters in this game. I hope that that's going to be changed before the final release. Uh, there were parables. I did not find them, though. I found them by accidentally made a previous play for girl. They're still morphing object style, hidden and tiny. But I hope they fix that. That is really annoying. Because I'm also playing at this time Dark Parables Jack in the Sky Kingdom. And I've seen how nice and big the parables used to be. So I hope they go back to that. Uh, besides that, uh, I'm definitely going to get this game when it comes out. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to do a Let's Play right as soon as it's out, though. Uh, we're going to be going Dark Parables in order, starting from Jack of the Sky Kingdom to present. We're going to skip Queen of Sands, but that's really much, pretty much the plan. Anyway, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, be sure to... Give us a nice like in the bottom. Give us a comment about your thoughts of the game. If you'd like to discuss it with you. And if you'd like to see more content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And we'll be back with more Mystery Case Files, Dark Grove, the Sacred Grove, more Agon, the Lost Sword of Toledo, and other games. I will see you then.